Hello, welcome back. This is Braymar, and welcome to the Wolf Pack. Today we're going to be doing something interesting. We're going to be doing a deck tech on the first commander I ever built, Rafiko the Mini. Uh, I wanted to do some deck techs and open up some boxes. Uh, I wanted to put some stuff online just so I kind of have like a history of my decks. I know I have them on Moxfield, but just a kind of interesting thing. A lot of people have also asked me what's in my decks. They flick through them, but I don't really like to give my secrets away, but we're going to do that today by old opening my oldest commander, my original OG commander I built, the Battlecruiser Rafik of the Mini. Uh, I love this guy, and when he attacks he gets exalted, so he's a 4-4 automatically with double strike. Uh, he can just kill people. It's gross. Uh, you give him stuff, and he just gets disgusting. Uh, I got Steve in here. Uh, Steve is great. He's a 1-1. One -one. You drop him, and then you sack him. He's great because you need to ramp. Uh, I got cool spells in here like Inflinching Courage, uh, one green and a white. Uh, Courage Cure gets plus two, plus two, Trample and Lifelink. So now all of a sudden Rafik is hitting for lethal damage at 6-6. Six, six. Gross. And it's Lifelink and it's Trample. You have to answer him or you're dead in two turns. Uh, I have a lot of lands in here that will do a lot of fixing. Uh, Sungrass Prairie is one of those. It's one and then tap it and you get a green and a white. So if you don't have any of those colors, if you have blue, you can still get a green and a white, which I think is kind of decent. Seasons of Growth is an amazing enchantment in this deck. Uh, it allows a creature, uh, or whenever a creature enters battlefield, you scry one. Just kind of like a static ability on enchantment. But whenever you cast a, a spell that targets a creature, you can draw a card. So it's kind of like an enchantress effect, a little bit. It, it's, it draws your cards. Very good. Um, you got Mystic Gate, and actually Wood Bastion here kind of falls in the same category. Uh, these are lands that you tap stuff into and you get stuff out of. So if I got one green, I can get two white. If I got one blue, I can get two white. You know, it was like super important stuff. Uh, the mana fixing in this deck is that's how I kind of like to play it. Wild Shape is a decent card that just got printed in Adventures of the Forgotten Realms, something like that. Uh, I don't know, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, choose one. Until the end of turn, creature you control gets power and toughness and gets one of these abilities and becomes a creature as well. Uh, trample with an elephant. Reach with a spider. Hexproof with a turtle. Uh, this is a great card because it's evasion. You can give him hexproof. It's kind of like a counter magic. And it can also give him trample if need be. Uh, I got some basic islands in here. Super basic. Uh, Rune of Might, awesome, awesome aura. It can enchant Rafik, or it can hit a uh, enchant or a artifact in the deck, uh, and then it'll give it plus one, plus one, and trample, which is what you're just trying to do. You want to punch through with Rafik. You'll see a lot of this kind of stuff is really just to kind of pump up Rafik and then beat face with him. Uh, the stuff you'll see in here that kind of enables this stuff to happen is the Argonian Enchantress. Uh, she's a zero one shroud cost two really early to get out start casting stuff like rune of might on Rafik after you get it out you know using cards like breeding pool and other things like that you know good cards good lands you know and you just drop them out play good stuff uh sovereigns of lost alara interesting to see this kind of early uh this is kind of like a older combo piece it gives him exalted again it's a four five spirit that does not fly garbage um but whenever he attacks whenever a creature attacks alone you search the deck for a enchantment, and then you just slap it on him. So you go grab something like, I don't know, Eldrazi's Conscription is in here, or Colossification, and then you're just like, hey Rafik. So it's it's a fun thing to do, but we'll still get some other stuff here. You got Prismatic Vista, which is another land. It's just decent. You sack it. You look it up. Uh, Swords of Plowshares, uh, it's a decent removal, it's a spot removal, you really want these sort of things uh, in this sort of color, it gives them life or whatevs. Uh, Steel Shaper's Gift, this will go grab you um, whichever one you need, uh, this is a really decent card as well, it may be a little bit more expensive. Uh, Limvala, Shield of the Seagate, um, this is an interesting card because uh, none of this part matters. You're looking at this 3-3 flyer. And to be honest with you, it's just for the second ability. It's you sacrifice it, and a creature gets hexproof. Actually, all your creatures get hexproof and indestructible until you turn. So this is like a Dauntless Escort, but it flies. It's a little bit easier to cast because it's also in white and blue, I feel like, in my opinion. I'm always trying to get more white out. Um, 
this Sithis, Harvest of the Hand. This is just another one of those enchantresses. Probably one of the best cards they ever printed. It's a zero, or it's a one, two, which is dumb for two. Um, and whenever you cast an enchantment, gain a life, draw a card. Enough said. Uh, Fierce Guardianship. This was a card that they printed uh, in Commander product. Never should have been printed. If you have your commander out, uh, you just counter a non-creature spell. Derp. Fierce Guardianship, absolutely broken. This is a nifty include. Oracle of Mordaya, uh, you may play an additional land on each of your turns, but you can play with the top of your library revealed, or you have to actually, uh, and then you can play the top of a uh, card if it's a land. So this, uh, some people don't include, I include it just because it just ramps out Rafik. Ottawara, uh, it's a newer land from Kamigawa. People like it, does some bouncy stuff, does some cool things. Uh, with channeling, if you got this thing out, it'll make it a little bit cheaper. Or it's just a blue island. Uh, Fabled Passage, which I just bought a Galaxy Foil, and I will be putting in here when it gets here. You crack this and go get a land. If it's four of it, it comes into play untapped. Slip out the back. This is just like Wild Shape. So this is just Evasion, or Counter Magic in my opinion. Gives them Hexproof, gives them 1-1, one, one, phases them out, protects them. One of the best cards that was printed uh, in Nuka Pena, in my opinion. Uh, Grand Arbiter Augustine. This is kind of a staxy piece. I just happened to pull it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, it's a legendary creature. It's a 2-3. Uh, he makes everything that you cast white one less. Everything cast blue one less. And there's another creature that does this in here. Sunscape familiar. Uh, and everything else that your opponents play cost one more. So everybody hates it. So you will die very quickly. Make sure you have this out when you were like ready to start knocking people's doors down. Uh, Misty Rainforest. I don't know what else has to be said about Misty. You pay a life. You go get a forest or a you go get a breeding pool. Uh, Open the Armory is a one in a white. It's a good spell actually. Fantastic. They reprinted it again in a commander whatever the f this is. Uh, you go and search your library for an aura equipment. Uh, or equipment and reveal it, put it in your hand, shelf your library. It's pretty much Steel Shaper's gift for one more, and it can go grab you an aura. Enough said. Uh, aura shards. Really good. Whenever a creature comes in your battlefield under your control, derp, uh, destroy a target artifact or enchantment. It's an enchantment that draws your card with your enchantresses and then triggers it off of Rafik, re entering battlefield, so then you get to kill stuff. What else? Uh, gross. Ristic Study. Uh, the card everyone hates. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, and I opened a couple on Jumpstart too, and I had an OG one. Gross! Whenever an opponent casts a spell, uh, you draw a card. Unless that person pays, what is it, one or two? One. Um, so you pretty much ask them if they have enough mana to pay for the spells that, you know, you're gonna be doing. This is an attacks deck, I promise you. I know you're seeing Overburden with Rhystic Study, and I think you guys just recently saw uh, doesn't matter. There's something else. Grand Arbiter. Uh, this isn't a stacks deck. Um, this is just a fun, friendly power eight deck. Um, Overburden is a card you should never look up. Uh, when a player puts a creature into play, uh, return a land <laughs> to its controller's hand. So if you play a bunch of uh, creatures and you think you're just gonna like go wide, you'll have no land. Lion Slash. This is a scavenger ooze on a card. I love it. Um, one white, get a 1-1, one, one, equip the creature, doop, Rafik, make a massive, it's just so good. Uh, Ajano, Seed of the Empire, just to actually talk a second about Kamigawa, Kamigawa was so good. Uh, the cards I've been printing re recently, uh, aside from like Midnight Hunt, um, were decent. I think they were great cards, very undervalued, they play very well. Tamiyo Safekeeping, another Kamigawa card, not trying to pump this set at all, but hey, target permanent gets hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. You gain two life, trying to stay alive, trying to stay him alive, you're going to get removed, he's going to get targeted removal, they're going to see him, you're going to pump him, you're going to be like, oh no, what's this thing doing, and you're going to be like, boom, indestructible, boom, hexproof. Uh, ponder, I think this is an OG foil ponder, uh, I like that card quite a bit actually. Um, that lets you look at the top three cards of your library and put one of them back, uh, or put them back in any order, uh, or you could shuffle your library, um, and then you draw a card. So if you don't like top three, shuffle your library or draw a card. Dirt, one blue. Uh, the Reality Chip, another Kamigawa card. This is just a 0-4 Defender, but you can look at the top card of your library at any time. 
As long as reality chip is attached to a creature, you can also play lands and class spells from the top of your library. Equip it to this guy. Give him some, you know, reconfiguration. Enlightened Tutor, you can just go grab an enchantment. Uh, Rancor, go grab this enchantment, give it to him. Uh, this gives him plus two and trample. The second you give this guy more than plus two, he becomes a two-shot robot. You give him more than like plus four, plus five, he literally becomes like a one-shot robot. So you just literally have to pump this guy twice. Cessna's Champion, whenever you cast enchantment, put plus one, plus one on her, draw a card. This is an enchantress. Definitely get these in your deck. Uh, some basic islands. I included this. This is a basic commander from Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. This was the Bant commander that came with it. Uh, I have her in here just for gigs, but she really hasn't been performing, so she may actually come out. Uh, she's just a 4-4 four four with Vigilance. Actually, she will, now I think about new cards that have just been printed. So 4-4 four four with Vigilance. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You can reveal an aura equipment uh, from the library and cast it. Uh, it gains da 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 da. When this ore enters the battlefield, attach the target creature control. Yeah, whatever. Um, so you can cast things off the top of your library. It's pretty decent. I do have a lot of auras, and it does work well with this. It's kind of like the only other commander I think in this deck. You got yourself a command tower. Speaking of commanders, I don't know how that snuck up with that. Uh, this just taps for any of these colors. Saram, the senior edificier. Uh, whenever you cast an aura equipment or vehicle spell, draw a card. That's pretty much an enchantress in this deck. Uh, so for one and a white, two, two, let's go. Uh, Baseju, uh, who endures. This is another one of those Kamigawa lands that got recently printed. Uh, you can channel this and destroy something. Again, channeling uh, is a little bit cheaper if you have legendaries out with these. Uh, Allosaurus Shepherd, jumpstart. Your green spells cannot be countered. This guy. Uh, this thing also cannot be countered. It is a 1-1, one, one, and then you can kind of give him a, like a pseudo 5-5 five, five if he... each elf. No, really didn't do anything except keep this thing alive. I don't know why I have it in there. We'll figure that out. Branch Loft Pathway. What else are you? Oh, you're the green one. I should get you in another different sleeve. Uh, Branch Loft Pathway is a cool land. These are those like modal flip lands that kind of like allows you to, uh choose whether or not you want to do a white or if you want to do uh, another color you pretty much always do white that's why the green was never even chosen and it was also on like a dark sleeve but uh you know i've grown up i've bought some new stuff these so this is what you should do if you have flip lands so when you flip it over you don't actually confuse somebody and they don't ask you like a million times what does the other side of that land do? You'd be like, yo, that's that's a green land now. So it's either a white or it's a green. Uh, Zendikar tried to fix the world. Get out of here. Uh, this is some other language. I think it may be Russian, but it is a verdant enchantress. Uh, it's a 0 2 4 3, uh, 2 green and a colorless, and it says whenever you cast an enchantment, draw a card. Basic. Uh, here's your basic island to go along with that basic enchantress. Uh, trapped in the moon. <laughs> yeah. So, Imprisoned in the Moon. This enchants Planeswalkers, or Commanders, or, you know, lands. And it says it is a colorless land with tap for colorless. This removes some really nasty threats. I've actually seen some really gross things uh, completely removed just by imprisoning them in the moon. Uh, Shield of the Oversoul. This was one of the things that I originally wanted to do with this deck. This was one of my first cards that I had in a... Uh, early white green elf deck uh, gosh what was that guy's name this was one of the first cards I had uh, in my elf deck the Reese's the pieces the Reese's uh, the Redeemer uh, Shield of the Oversoul it works really good with this because he is a white and green so it just gives him flying and indestructible and two plus ones plus ones again pumping him making it insane heroic intervention uh, this is a good counter magic uh, prevent your controllers from getting destroyed. It's indestructible and your permanents have hex proof, so it's tar target removal and board wipage protection. Uh, this is a cool little dog. It's an enchantment dog that just got put in a Kamigawa. Uh, <laughs> it's a 1 1 and uh, it's a cool little uh, storybook art thing, but it just says when it uh, enters the battlefield, you draw cards. You pretty much double cantrip, draw two cards. 
There's a land from Kamigawa. Uh, you're going to pick human just because because you want to tap and add colorless. Or add color mana. If you don't, you just add colorless. Um, I'm not sure if this is good yet. I've just been trying it out. It's a fun card. This is one of the OGs that I used to run all the time. They used to make people rage. Uh, Mizium Skin. It just gives your creature hexproof, but if you overload it for one and a blue, all your stuff has hexproof. And it gives them plus one just for fun. Uh, <laughs> Flooded Strand, which is another one of those uh, pay one, sack it, go get a hollow fountain. Uh, all that glitters is a really important enchantment. You really want to get this on this guy as soon as possible. Uh, it gives it plus one, plus one for each other enchantment you control. Uh, it also counts artifacts too, which is kind of important in this deck. It's okay. Uh, I need to check to see if there's actually an Arcane Signet in here. I might pull out uh, the one lady for an Arcane Signet if it's not in here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Maybe even now a Shore Shepherd. You might come out for an Arcane Signet. Um, <laughs> Defense of the Heart. Defense! Of the heart during upkeep, if a player actually has three or more creatures, you sacrifice this and then you go and get two creatures and put them into play. Decent, a little strange, but a very good card. Just let's and go grab Shard, uh, the Sovereigns of Lost Alara, and then something else like Linvala, and then you have a standing defense and a uh, way to just make Rafik just gross. Uh, you go grab Spirit Mantle, gives it plus one, plus one, and protection from creatures. All of a sudden, he just cannot be blocked. Gross. Uh, that is an OG Zendikar foil. Don't look too hard at it, because <laughs> it might hurt your kids. Uh, a Hollow Fountain. I know a lot of people are screaming, oh, this deck is like $1,800. I know! This is like the first deck I ever built, so there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, Indolent of Blossoms, right? So this Constellation card. Uh, whenever you cast it or an enchantment, uh, draw a card. Again, Enchantresses. This is one of the other ones that I love. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I built this deck. Uh, Steal the Godhead. Uh, allows you to give it plus one, plus one lifelink, and it's unblockable. Gross. Oh, Arcane Signet isn't here. For some reason I thought I took it out for another deck. Uh, again, another basic island. Another basic forest. A soul ring. Should know what those do. It does a plus one, basically, to your uh, mana pool immediately, and then does plus two. Uh, basic uh, planes. You got yourself Sea of the Clouds. If you have any of these two basics, comes into play untapped. Doesn't actually come into play untapped. Uh, oh, I lied. Sea of Clouds uh, enters the battlefield untapped unless you have two opponents. You will always have two opponents. Very good. City of Brass just printed this in Double Masters. Um, you need to pick up like four of them because they're as cheap as they ever are. Uh, you will deal one damage yourself. You can tap it, add one in of any color. That's a really cheap price to pay. Noble Hierarch uh, gives him Exalted. Uh, this one is a 0-1. Tap it for all your Bant colors. It's a one drop. Stupid, stupid, stupid good. Uh, Temple of Plenty. I've been thinking about taking these temples out. You scry one, tap it for either mana. Uh, comes into play, it's, you know, tap mana. Uh, Staggering Insights is one of the ones I kind of like for Rafik. This one says, uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, or enchanted creature plus one, plus one, lifelink, and whenever it deals damage, draw a card. So that starts becoming pretty important uh, as the game goes on to draw more cards. Um, Aqueous Form is another enchantment aura. Uh, makes it so he can't be blocked, and whenever he attacks, you scry one. So Dece, Temple Garden, is another one of those shock lands. Uh, it's a forest plains, so you can fetch for it. Uh, and you can pay two life, and it doesn't enter the battlefield tapped. This is a Hinder Learn Harbor, which is another good fixing of the land. It ha this has all the land fixing, it has all the good land fixing. Hinderland Harbor uh, is a blue or green, and it comes into battlefield tapped unless you have a forest or an island, which you always will. Uh, Emerge Unscathed is another one of those counter spells. Uh, target creature control gains pro from a color of your choice until the end of turn. Then it rebounds, and you target it again. And I've literally protected it from blue for counter spell. Gave it pro black, swung in on a black player, and killed him the next turn. While protecting him from a blue spell the turn before. 
Uh, emerge unscathed. Absolutely gross. Um, just game winning. Uh, flooded flooded gro grove. Uh, this again is one of those mana fixing ones where you just tap a blue into it, you get two green. Uh, Skybound expanse, Skycloud expanse. I've been experimenting with these lands uh, to see if I kind of like them. Both them and the temples have been kind of disappearing because I don't really like them. Uh, basic is land. I just kind of like having land. Uh, basic planes. You know, basic guy over here. Uh, this nice little black blade. Really, really, really good for him. Obviously, we have lands in here. So we would really like a uh, black blade to keep going. Uh, Windswept Heath is another one of those fetch lands. Uh, you pay one, you sack it, and then you go get a force of planes. Uh, Mesa Enchantress. Two white and a colorless. It's a 0-2. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. So again, Enchantresses are going to be very, very good for your deck. Um, this one uh, is actually at like a dollar fifty. Um, I remember pulling it, thinking it's going to be so good, and then like, pff, card's been taking forever to go up. <clears throat> so this is again one of those flip lands. We're going to have a blue option, or you're going to have a green option. Most of the time I go with the green, but sometimes I go with the blue for this. Classification, this is one of those things where you want to go grab it with uh, the Angel, or the Sovereigns of La Solara, and uh, slap it onto him. It's pretty much a win con. Uh, Sylvan Library, interesting card. Uh, it's an enchantment that says, at the beginning of your draw step, you may draw two additional cards. Uh... uh Choose two cards in your hand, draw on this turn for each of those cards that you keep. Uh, you pay four life or put them on top of your library. Very strong. Um, I, I don't think people people should know that card. People who don't know <laughs> Sunscape Familiar, though, that's okay. Uh, this is a wall. It's a 0 3. Walls cannot attack, by the way. Uh, green spells. And blue spells you play cost one less to play. This is an amazing cost reduction reduction card, and it's a body. I absolutely love that card. It's a absolute unit. Grafted Exoskeleton uh, is one of those enchantments that'll just win you the game. You slap it onto him and give him an effect. I think turn four or five, if you can just slap this on after that, you just kind of like win the game because he has infect at that point. And you just start killing people with infect instead of damage. Uh, Shadow Spear is an amazing, amazing artifact. Uh, this is legendary artifact equipment for one that says equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has trample and lifelink. Uh, this thing also for two will, uh, or it's equipped for two, um, and then one, it will obviously uh, just, uh, <laughs> will remove the, uh, indestructible and the lifelink. Ugh. This card is an absolute unit. Uh, I recommend you pick it up for almost like any deck that you're running. <laughs> Anything that you want to equip. Uh, Worldly Tutor. Search your library for a creature card. Reveal that card. Shuffle it. Put your card on top. Uh, this is a card that I've been playing with. I kind of just like to grab Sovereigns of Lost Alara to kind of like pump her feet. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to take this card out. It hasn't really been performing too well. What has been performing well has been something like Guardian of the Faith. Uh, this is a Flash Vigilance Teferi's Protection. And I don't have a Teferi's Protection in here, and I might pull out Worldly Tutor for Teferi's Protection. Uh, it is very important to keep Rafik alive. So this thing's going to flash in and keep him. It's going to phase him out uh, and keep him alive. Stupid important. Uh, Deserted Beach is one of those uh, new lands from Midnight Hunt. It comes into play tapped unless you have two or more other lands. Uh, okay, so on turn three you can now play this for untapped. It's a foil. It's okay. Ancestral Mask uh, is two and a green. Chant Creature because plus two plus two for each enchantment. On the battlefield, remember, that counts all your other opponent's enchantments. Lazatop Plating is kind of an upgrade from the Mizianthum Scrim skin. Uh, this will amass you a one and gives all your permits hexproof until the end of turn. Super interesting because it gives you a body and protects your guy. Canopy Cover, amazing spell to go grab. Uh, this enchant creature, uh, Aura, says that you cannot be blocked by anything without flying or reach. Get in the trees, Rafiq. Uh, it says also, it cannot be the target of spells or opponents, uh, spell abilities that opponents control. So that means he has hexproof. 
boom. That is absolutely fantastic for Rafik. This whole deck is centered around Rafik just swinging and protecting him. Uh, Inquisitor's Flail, which also makes this pretty easy. Um, this says uh, if he'll deal damage, he'll deal double damage. He has double strike. Um, and it also says uh, if he'll receive damage, he receives double damage. It's okay. It's what, two and two? Look how cheap that is with uh, things like Mana Crypt. Uh, that's, you know, tap, get two. I think we all know what that does. Uh, Ranger class. When Ranger class enters the battlefield, create a 2 2 green wolf. Uh, this is a cool thing from the dungeons one again. Uh, whenever you attack, put a 1 1 creature, a 1 1 on attacking creature. That'd be Rafik. Uh, and then you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Uh, this is for level 3, and then play it if it's a creature card. There it is. I knew it was in here. Eldrazi Conscription. Creature gets plus 10, plus 10. Quip him, Annihilator 2, done. This is an interesting card I just recently included, and I keep telling people to grab. It's Sterling Grove. Uh, other enchantments you control have Shroud, so they just can't remove something like Eldrazi Conscription. And then you can actually pay one, sacrifice this, and then just go grab Eldrazi Conscription. Or it actually says Enchantment Card. So you can actually go grab your Enchantment Enchantress, and then just put them in your hand. Uh, Boulder's Great just also reprinted something that's like stupid good. Uh, reflecting Pool, you can tap one and add one mana of any color of any land that you can produce. Uh, and then this is, you know, Mana Drain. I don't have any real counter spells in here, but Mana Drain is kind of broke, so I kept it in. So that's my Rafik deck. Um, I don't really try to go too overpowered. It's a decent deck. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a solid 8.